I am Arion, this is Book Zealot, and this is my pile of possibilities for Big Book Summer! <laughs> the hostess and the creator is Sue Jackson. I will put all of her information below. And this is my second summer of, I think it's my third summer actually, but I think this is my second summer where I really want to concentrate on it so I tried to do that last year as well this year I'm going hardcore into it even more than I did last year so let's just dive right into it because we know that's what you're here for books so I have unbroken a World War II story of survival resilience and redemption by Laura Hillenbrand I think most booktubers have already read this viewers have probably already read this if you have already read this let me know what you thought of it. Um, I started it, did not get very far into it. Okay, my bookmark is on chapter one, but I know I've read more than that. Um, so I'm starting it over. My second option was given to me by my father-in-law. Um, he is since passed away. The Forgotten Man, A New History of the Great Depression by, and I'm sorry, I'm gonna butcher this name, Amity. Amity, Amity Schlaes. If you know how to pronounce that, please let me know. And uh, looking forward to this because he gave it to me quite a while ago because he was reading it and I was visiting and I said, oh, what book are you reading? Oh, how are you liking it? <sighs> this book! I had started this a couple of years ago with a uh, March of the Mammoths read a buddy read called Bonhoeffer by Eric Metaxas uh, pastor martyr prophet spy I'm curious about that whole prophet thing um, as you can see there are lots of oranges in here for things that were probably inaccurate uh, again I haven't picked this up in years um, I am on page 84 or 85 and there are a lot of oranges so I don't know I re do remember there was one thing in here about science that was inaccurate anyway well I have a feeling that's going to be a slow read Titan the life of John D Rockefeller senior by Ron Chernow and if anybody's paying any attention to banks going up in smoke and who's buying them so yeah buyouts takeovers on purpose I've had this book a long time I don't th I don't think I've ever cracked it and another book that I've had on my bookshelf for a while and everyone has said it's good it's not gory so that's a positive hopefully um, this author does not make vulgar comments about females because I know Stephen King enjoys doing that I'm not even a feminist and he irks me like really just he's not bad names going through my head right now um so 11 1963 this is a beast how long is this going to take me to read i mean if i'm like really dedicated and can you know an hour a day maybe maybe two oh, that's a lot of time anyway churchill walking with destiny by andrew roberts this is a chunk of monka I have another Andrew Roberts book. Where is it? Is it Hamilton? I think it might be Hamilton. Is it Hamilton? Prometheus is standing over there. Um, I don't know. It's around here somewhere. Okay, so Churchill. Um, you know, I'm really looking forward to moving because when we move, I will know where all of my books are. It's going to be nice again to know because I used to know. Like, exactly where my books were was it necessary to snap <laughs> apparently it was okay Leonardo, hang on that goes over there Leonardo da Vinci by Walter Isaacson 
This book is so heavy. The quality of paper in this book is supreme. This is, how much did I weighed this because Jim had weighed his and this was heavier, but it doesn't look as thick, I don't think. It's very deceptive. So, and my last book, Propaganda. This is for the history woman who deleted her, her channel. Why do you do that? But I digress. Mein Kampf by Adolf Hitler. Now what I have heard is that Winston Churchill was the only one who took this seriously, this gibberish garbage, seriously. And nobody paid attention to him. And Prometheus and I were talking about it. If more people took this seriously, would World War II have happened? Or would it have been as bad as it was? Curious minds contemplate. <laughs> anyway, so... Here are my pile of possibilities. That's what I have going on. Big book summer. Are you participating? Please leave a comment below and let me know. And uh, yeah, what are you doing this weekend? Hope you have a good one. Bye.